Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. You know, whether you're a GM lover, Ford lover, Chrysler lover, Ferrari lover, whatever, it doesn't really matter what kind of lover you are. If you're a car lover, uh, the Mustang Fastback is still ranks up, uh, even if you're offended by other people's types of cars. These kind of cars are iconic, great body style, and um, I don't know, they're just good to look at. You know, I'm kind of a, maybe, I love all cars, but I'm kind of maybe, my brand might be Mopar. And uh, uh, when I look at these cars here, I go, you know what, it's hard to hate this car. And uh, so I just had it uh, all repainted, uh, the candy apple red with the white stripe, so the paint is brand new on the car. Uh, we were gonna try to fix a couple areas by the time we try to do all that. Uh, it was just easier to go ahead and do this and check this out. Look at how you can read that just perfectly. That did a great job on the paint. This is just a beam of sunlight coming in from the window while we're doing the videos. Great glass and trim in the car, you know. And uh, as we walk around and look at stuff, you know, the GTs, uh, just to point out a couple of things, you know, missing the piece here like it's supposed to for a GT. Got the right call outs on the fenders. Got disc brakes in here. You know, there's uh, these early cars, there's no way to really tell that they were GTs. And uh, uh, the Marty report that you can buy that, that authenticates these cars, I believe, doesn't start till 67 or 68 maybe even. Um, so these early ones, there's no way to really tell. This one is badged up like it, has everything to indicate that it is. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but uh, we're not selling it at the price of, of a real one that you uh, have documentation with. Anyway, GT lights here. All looks great in here, all fresh paint, the chrome looks nice. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was opening the hood. Come on in here, let's check out some of the detail here. Got the nice looking battery topper right here. Engine's painted the correct color for this year. In 66, they went to blue. 65, they were black with the gold valve covers. Got the right radiator in here, the washer bag, Monte Carlo bar and export brace. Just great looking. And it's nicely detailed too, so you can go to a show and, uh, and show people what you have there. Anyway, uh, we really haven't even detailed the car. It came out of the paint shop, so it still has uh, some of the rubbing compound and things like that on. We'll give it one more final uh, uh, rinse off before uh, it would come to you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out the inside. Beautifully done interior, all black. Now, this is the upgraded pony interior. The pony's running across, and it's much nicer than the standard interior. One of the nice things, too, is it's got the fold-down rear seat, and it's nicely detailed back here, too. Check that out. The vents are here and they work. This is actually a nice car. It just had average paint on it. And I thought it was a deserving of a little bit more. Okay, a couple small things inside here. This is upgraded, but this is cool about this. They didn't cut the dash out to put a modern radio in there. So what we can do is if you want, we could put uh, a CD player, iPod, whatever in there for you if you wanted to. Flashers, they work. Okay. Full gauges too, which is nice. Not just dummy lights. Fuel, oil, amps, and water. And we also have here tack and uh, and clock in the uh, rally pack, which looks great. And that awesome steering wheel. I got to tell you what, one of the best looking steering wheels on any car ever. Uh, the fog lights here, and they work in the grill, which we just looked at. New dash, headliners in great shape, and all the detail and trim is very nice. It's hard not to be impressed with this car. And on top of it, look what we got here. Not only do we have a four speed, but we got the correct uh, shifter with the reverse lockout, and it works. How about I start it for you so you can hear what you sound like? All right, you know, one of the other styling features back here is a trumpet tip exhaust out the balance panel. Chrome bumper, it's all detailed underneath here. Got the GT gas cap. This is a cool looking back end of a car. I mean, for, for whether you like cars or not, you see this car rolling down the road, it's very difficult uh, not to really say, wow, that's cool, or smile, or whatever. Let's check out the trunk. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you guys know, but the trunk uh, does go all the way through. Um, if you want to, you can fold down that shelf. This is, uh, it looks to be, and I don't know that it is for sure, but it looks to be a vintage uh, assembly manual for the vehicle. Okay, got the correct spare tire cover, got a nice trunk mat, it's all detailed with the jacking instructions here. Just nice. You know, in closing up the video here, 
I don't really want to talk much more about the car. We've talked about it a lot. We've looked around it. We've gone for a test drive. We've done all those things. But what I wanted to do is just take a second. I'm not going to say a word and just look at the car for a minute. I mean, it just has great lines. It's a four speed. It's got disc brakes. It's got the right exhaust on it. It's got all the factory gauges in there, plus the rally pack, that cool steering wheel, buckets, console. Take your kids out for a drive. Take the wife out to dinner. Guaranteed that this car if your valet park, it gets parked up front, the Bentley that was originally there gets moved to the side. Anyway, we're proud to present this 66 Mustang Fastback. Give you a second to look around, check it out. It's cool. Find a way to get this car in your driveway, in your garage, and I think you'll be, uh, I think you'll be much happier. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.